All right. So hi everyone. So my name is Simon. Today we'll be talking about uh, smarter Arduino with AI. So basically, teachable machines with Arduino. So Arduino is one of the most fastest growing prototyping platforms in the market, and it's actually smart already. So what we're going to do right now is to make it smarter, make it much more efficient, um, add a little spice into that sweet Arduino, right? Okay, so um, there's already a good introduction earlier, so I'm just going to do some quick view of that. So my name is Simon Gregory Mata. I'm a, I'm a researcher and AI specialist by heart. I'm also a robotics lover and also I love Arduino. I've been using Arduino for the past eight years, actually 10. Yeah. 2011. So I've been using Arduino since 2011 for projects and have been doing robotics for the past 10 years too. So, so today we'll be talking about what is Arduino and what is AI and how we could, how could we combine both of them. All right. So, so for, for the lovers of Arduino, we already know what Arduino is. So Arduino is a platform made by Basimo, Banzi, and Levin Chelis. Um, it's an open source hardware wherein we could utilize the Atmel chip, one of the most um, industrially, industrially smart and industrially friendly chipsets in the market, including microchip and text instruments chips. Now, to program this, we'll be using um, C++ and processing in Java, but within this system, we'll be just using C++ in Java. All right. So we already know some smart parts of Arduino. So the Arduino platform that we're going to be using right here is the Arduino Pro Mini, by the way. So the Arduino Pro Mini is actually similar to what I'm showing you with you right now. So it has uh, IOs, IO pins, and analog inputs. Also has a re reset button. The only um, thing it doesn't have is the USB uh, programmer, but this one has its own. So I just saw it right here. Now, where do you know what the parts of our is? is? Uh, I just want to share. Um, why people love Arduino. So Arduino is actually geared towards artists, hobbyists, students, and anyone with a gadget degree. So if you ever had that dream in your childhood when you want to make a robot so, or make a device, a dream device you have, Arduino is now your key into that dream. Arduino have been existing for the past years and there are a lot of uh, makers who have been uh, using Arduino and it evolved for quite some time. Before Arduino is just a uh, processing system, now they're actually making an ARM chip for Arduino where it would be a full small microcomputer. We really need that. Now, Arduino rose out from what is a normal problem for students? Uh, normal problem for students is how can I make my prototype fast? Right. So many of us will be thinking making prototypes is really hard. It will take me months building the chip, programming the chip, programming systems, and all. Probably will take you some people. Some people take years. Now with Arduino, we size that down into days and months. For example, before you cannot build an IoT system within a year. Uh, some of the IoT systems in the past are built by PhD students in Harvard and master students. Now even Grade school students are building IoT systems, which is actually cool to see. It made Arduino to what we call a rapid prototyping module. So when you say rapid prototyping module, 
it is a module that is focused on building things extremely fast, rapid. Now I'm going to show you a video of the people who made Arduino and why is it important. Hold on, I'm just going to edit the sound there. Guys, can you hear the the video? No? Myself, 
And therefore, I can believe that they actually have a multilateral wide world. Which ahora esto significa volver a tener la posibilidad de mirar qué hay dentro de las cosas. We wanted it to be open source so that everybody could come out and help and, and contribute. For me, that's really about uh, giving people the information they need to recreate this artwork themselves. I'm really passionate about our community because uh, I really care about understanding more about how the world works. My wife has said that you work out today when there's more computers than people. If every computer had a keyboard and mouse, I scream. It would be impossible to go on our life. I was able to figure out that that was a way to get a very nice ecosystem of people participating and making extensions, making derivatives and helping. So it's kind of like I'm, I'm taking one step up a, up a ladder and then I'm helping other people go further up the ladder. So we have to see the like, And that's the beginning of a completely different way of doing that computation. The very first thing I tried to do with Arduino was run a 3D printer. So I make moving cakes and hanging cakes, so we make puppets with the Arduino. One of my students is uh, building a guitar. Here's a, here's a robot. If I jolt, it's the way it goes up. I go up, I can be actually go through one of these people. That is the video for Arduino's uh, documentary. It's a documentary about how they put Arduino, how they make Arduino, and how it became to be one of the most popular rap prototyping boards, development boards in the world. Right. So I'm also going to show you also a video uh, from a Maker Fair in Rome, wherein it's a center of Arduino, actually. It's where it's made. It's, it's the birthplace, if you can say for you, All right?
stuff have been made using Arduino and aside from that uh, a lot of people a lot of young individuals have been exploring Arduino as well Um, for guys who haven't watched the video, I'm gonna I'm gonna paste it na lang sa link later. Alright. So for now, we're gonna push on with artificial intelligence. So what is artificial intelligence? Most of you guys would think artificial intelligence would be something like um skip that and look at this AI system right here. So here. Hold on, let me just. Is there something on May 3rd? There you go. I think that the video can be heard right now. video the one talking with the customer service is AI Michelle not a real person but an AI now the fun part here is that Google have been working with duo duplex for quite some time uh, managing to integrate their NLP text to speech technologies into a phone call right so usually this is what AI would look like right now it's not something scary. It's not something terrifying. It's something amazing, actually. Um, other one is if you're, when you're typing in your keyboard, a lot of companies right now, especially Apple and Google, have been 
Ito nga yung AI based uh, keyboard adapting systems wherein they detect the next words you're gonna type. So this is what the AI is look, looks like. And AI is actually simple. It's any task that can be done by humans or carried out by humans that is being carried out by machines. So, so for example, in this one right here, identifying objects is a task that is needed by humans. But it can be done by a computer right now. It's a computer vision. Right. Now, right now we're going to be using a platform called Teachable Machines. And uh, I want to share to you what Teachable Machine is and how we can take advantage of it. challenging project. 
especially for people who are doing their theses, for doing their projects, doing their masters, or something that would require our AI. Now, building the AI models is much more harder. You'll be training it for days, you'll be training it for hours. You'll be needing a high spec computer to do that. Right. Now, with teachable machines, it makes it possible to, for you to do that in a much more faster phase uh, and easy to use platform. Basically, no code in the way. So, AI plus Arduino is smarter IoT. And our goal here is to present a smarter system that kids would love. Now, I'm just going to use for you today, so I'm going to use this uh, um, RGB LED, if you know this, the Arduino board, and a piazzo for these projects. Now, I want you to, sh um, for this first project, we'll be obviously doing one of the most famous Hello World projects in Arduino, which is Blink, right? So, okay. so let's close first the, the PowerPoint. Hold on. I'm going to share to you um, an example of how integrating teachable machines is, how we do it. Okay. There you go. I'm just going to, I'm going to go out with a video here for a while. There you go. So here it's understand, understood that I am Simon, but if I close open my hands, it's open. Close. close. There you go. Now, that's how the the system is trained. So if I open my hand, I close my hand in a way. In a way, the training of the system is to set up. There's also something for sound. Let me just. This one is for sound. So there's a background noise. If I say red, red, the blue point right there will go red. If I say blue, blue there. Right. So the systems um, made it possible for training images like this one and um, sounds as well into models for AI, like this one. For example, I say green, green, the level right here, right here. Red, red, green, green, blue, 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 white, white, white. So it makes it possible for you to develop different AI systems in a faster phase. Now, for our Hello World project, we'll be developing a blinking LED using the integrated Arduino LED right here. Let me show you my code for Arduino. Let me walk you through. Okay. Um, Adam, are you there? Adam? Uh, Clyde? 
Uh, can I speak in Tagalog? Apo, apo. Well, no, po. Okay. Uh, I hope you're in English tayo. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah. So, we'll be speaking in Tagalog kasi explaining Arduino can be quite complicated in English. And I understand that we are not really that much adapted in English naman. Especially in English. So, okay. we walk you through with the code. So in this part right here, what we just did is we open the serial, be serial begin. So we set the port in 9600. It's just basically open the opening serial. So it's a protocol setup. So lagi mo siya kailangan para mag open serial. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make the Arduino port accept serial messages. All right. Now. Now for this one right here, this if oh yeah. Now for this one right here, the serial available, it is just to check if the serial is is passing is selected. Now this one right here, incoming byte is accepting serial read. Let me show you how this goes in the serial monitor. We just basically make a serial monitor right here. So I'm just gonna enter one. It says 49. Zero. So this one just accepts incoming messages from here and integrate into the system. Okay. There you go. There you go. So there's another error. So when you input one, it will light up and input zero, it will light off. Temple blink application, right? So this one right here says that the, the built-in LED will be high, which, is, which means on. This one means if it's low, it means off. Now this one right here just uh, shows you what the input is in this real. When I say within the serial, it's the serial communicator right here. It's, it's, it's connected to the coin. Okay. Now let's go to the teachable machines. How exactly are we going to integrate that? Now, this one is. Mm -hmm. Let's turn this off first. This one too. There. Already ready up. There you go. Already ready up a code right here. Now, for you to generate that code, for example, if we're using this, we're using this. Turn on my. So if I turn on my webcam, for you to for you to integrate that export model, for you to integrate the whole in your code, you need to export that model and pick click right here p5.js so we'll be using p5.js it's a platform for javascript wherein it lets you code web apps on the fly and same time it, it's a mix of react.js and c++ yeah 
So Pivot.js is a JS platform like React.js, Node.js, if you guys have used programming software, um, language like that. Uh, it's using that um, software. Now, the moment you upload that, we'll be giving this uh, link right here. This is the link for your model. So this one will be uploaded in Teachable Machines Cloud. I just use Google Colab. Now we just need to copy this, copied, and paste it anywhere in the fibonacci.js platform. For example, if we copy that and paste right here. Let's turn off this one first. And this will be prompt into this screen. So open. There. The other one I made is much more efficient. All right. So now let's go here. Now, I'm going to also, uh, also be uploading codes for integrating this in your system. This one is online, right? It's online. So we'll be integrating that with the p5.js serial controller. So right now, this one's going to um, call part 11 for me. So you could pick in your call part right here. So we just click open. All right. Stop this first. Open. There you go. Open. It's just uh, reminder: always close um, com ports from the Arduino before doing that. So the moment you have that uh, system, if you the JS right here, you will be given the serial code to the side. Let's click that and click open. You're already connected, right? Now, the moment you're connected here, you can already run this one. There you go. Let's see. Oh, open, close, open, close. Open, close. So basically, that's the link code. Now let me walk you through to the code that I picked. Right. So for this one, I still copied the code from Teachable Machines, but I added some code in uh, FIFA.js. The codes are from serial port. So for this one, I added the variable serial and the port name, which is comma level, right here. Then, after that, I had some parts right here to check if the system is connected, right here. And if there's serial, right here, port is open. And if there's an error, so this is for the error. Now, this are just goes for if you want to check if it's closed or open, and if there's an error. Now, another one that I put in, in here is that I put up an if statement, uh, let's say if statements in here, wherein I send strings one and zero to the Arduino. So here I just put in zero on the right one, zero right is one, zero right is zero for close. So for open it's one, for close it's zero. Okay. For Simon, Simon by the way is me. As you can see. So you always need to, in your training, you also need to have a background. So, because you need to train also your system without any objects that you can do. So that's AI 101, AI computer vision, right? Now let's, uh, let's show it again. There you go. There you go. Now, uh, I still have some time. So, 
I'm gonna show another code we're in, we're gonna utilize now the sound recognition system in the Arduino. Now to walk you through the code for the sound is right about here. So it's actually sound. Right? So so here I'm just gonna send um, Mario and Imperial. Now I'm gonna show um now this one, I'm going to let this activity for you guys if you can explore it. Now, for the last one, I think I'm really not having that much time. Show the code. So we'll be exploring sound recognition and like that. So for sound recognition, let me just walk you through. We'll just be using an RGB LED right here. Which, similar as the last one, just um, this is just as well. So four for blue, five for green, and six for red. Right. Now, we'll be having this one right here, this editor right here. So this one we have created from the sound recognition system right about here. So it's the last one we turn off. So when it's a red, red, it's red. So for this is what we're gonna be making. It will say, if I say blue, it will blue. All right. So again, we'll be opening this one. Let me check first if I have any serial monitor. Let's open none. So we're gonna open this one again. Open, all right, that's all good. I'm going to go back to my code if you find it. Yes. All right. And in this code right here, it's similar. The only one that added is still B, serial, serial communications. And also, I added the output here in the got results function. So, in the got results function, we have already labeled. It's automatically there. It's faster here because it, the data comes out faster automatically here. And for sound, it's much more efficient if you get it from direct source. Let us try to explore that. Red. There you go. Blue. Green. Oh, by the way, I'm looking at the agenda. There, green. Red. One more time. <laughs> Red, red, green, blue, blue, white, mm -hmm. magenta, 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 there you go. So now, of course, you will see some discrepancies with the e-code. Uh, the training platform right here is not perfect, for example, there are some data still coming in. Because I only use 200 images, 200 sounds, sound records. Now for this one, I only did this about 30 minutes each. So obviously it's not that hard to make an AI system. It's not that hard to make a system like this. And you guys can explore it. Right. Now, 
I've said this already, eleven fifty-seven. Um, I'm gonna leave some activities for you guys. I want you guys to explore, um, think of teachable machines, and I'm gonna prune all my codes. You could make your own activity, and actually, I want you guys to explore the sound. Sound last because I'm gonna run anywhere near the other time. Still fifteen minutes. Okay, I'm just gonna get a So, all right. So, okay. What's our next step for our so we're ready to get started. So the next step is your turn. So what can you make with each of our machines? You can tell us out on the chat, on the comment section on the live stream, and give us a feedback on that, what exactly, what exactly is your feedback on on each of our machines. Right. Okay. Now, if there are any questions? I'm gonna check the chat box. Uh, um, Clyde, are you still there? Clyde. Uh, yes, poster. All right. So, are there questions for us? Uh, as of now, sir, wala pa po. Pero I think. Nakadelay po kasi yung FB live na mga ilang seconds. Oh, so, po. Yes, tayo. Ah, po. So, do you have questions? Ano well, yung gagawin nilang activity, sir? Ah, I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna send the Google Drive right now. Can I send it in the Google Gmeets na lang? Ah, uh, sige po, sir. And then we will just um, send a uh, comment na lang din po dun sa pinaka-Facebook live po natin. All right, all right. Hold on, let me just. So, but then I'll save. Ah, problem ako kasi. <laughs> problem ako na save on Arduino ako kami. Nakalimut na ako sa kana save. Hold on, na. let me I just. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh my bad. Hindi <laughs> ko tuloy mahal na. Questions na po sir, can you? Pwede na po ba tayong magstart sir? Sure, for sure, for sure. All right. We have of our first question from um. Uh, Sai Reyes, sabi niya po, Sir, just want to ask question regarding to the alarm system using Arduino. The idea is I just want to have a signal radius and if the, and if the device or Arduino go beyond the radius, the alarm will trigger in my phone. Is, is this feasible? If yes, can you please give me what kind of parts or module that I need in making this project? Thank you and God bless you. Um, hi, Clyde. Um, what I heard from the question is that um, he wants to make a platform where he wants to make an alarm system, right? Is that right? Yes, sir. You then he will I use. Have... Then he will use uh, the phone for the oh. alarm system, right? Yeah. As long as the phone is connected to the device using Bluetooth, actually. Um, if Romel is here, he would definitely suggest using Load MCU. No them see you kasi via ano lang eh, via uh, online lang. Di ba, Kai? Have you used no them see you before, right? Ah, uh, di pa po, sir. Okay, now. Maganda yung, maganda yung no them see you, guys. Uh, utilize nyo. Ano lang ako talaga ngayon, na utos na eh. I've been doing some projects for quite some time. So, this fan then. So, no them see you, maganda siya in a sense na i-activate ka na online. So, actually, this laptop can be used in mobile. I think it can be used mobile. Wala siya kailangan install it. Everything is on the laptop. So, pwede. Pwede naman. Uh, about the modules, probably a relay. Will be a relay and um, a gene as well. Uh, Clyde, are there more questions, Clyde? Uh, yes, po, sir. From our uh, uh, chat box, meron po tanong si Pangkoy Pakamalan. Well, ang tanong po niya, Doc, naapektuhan daw po ba yung quality of your device? Naapektuhan daw po ba yung performance? The camera siguro, bro. Pero you're trading your own camera to do the same picture, so it won't that affect the whole thing. Okay. As long as you're trading the same, as long as you're using the same camera for detection and trading, it won't affect it. Uh, mind you guys, eh, pwede kayo mag-train dito up to 1,000 meter. 
So, pwede siya mapuno kasi it's, it doesn't have any space um, restrictions. Ayan. So, I hope nasagot si Sir. We have another question po dito, Sir, from Rowell BJP ko. What would be the best Wi-Fi module that will send data from Arduino to web page? I mentioned it earlier. I know. Uh, you use no MC. I think they have that in a non mouse. Kaya uh, namin kasi na mouse. Meron sila nyan is that on mouse. And also, I do have something make you love your thing and all that. So, Note MCU kasi is a Wi-Fi mo, a Wi-Fi platform which is also Arduino compatible. So, pwede mo siyang i-connect sa Firebase if you're looking for a server to connect it. So, yeah. Any more questions, guys? Okay. So, ano po, sir? Um, we have another question here from Dr. Senex. Tatanong niyo po. Sir, pwede mo tanong, ano po ba ang maganda gamitin na sensor kapag gagawa ng flood monitoring device tapos may hydro power din kasi sa ilog namin ilalagay for thesis po sana namin thank you po uh, ano to puro thesis thesis questions ha <laughs> alright so for flood monitoring you could use um, depende if you want to just detect if it's wet if you detect the level it all depends you could use a float sensor a normal float sensor for that Tapos for the hydro sense, kailangan nyo ng stable level of water. Kasi one millimeter will be, will be, ano eh, will be a problem too with, with, with the problems. Hold on, can we pick sure. One millimeter will be a problem for a hydro. Because right now, we're developing a hydro. So, so it will affect. So, mas maganda kung moisture sensor na lang nagayin dyan. A moisture sensor is used for soil though. It can be used for water still. Kasi yun, ang touch lang nun, may itik na agad kayo may ibig. Ayun. I hope that's your question. Okay po. Sir, ready na po ba kayong i-share yung project niya? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hold on. All right, so I have here the, the codes needed for for the whole thing. Tapos, I want you guys to go to this website. I'm going to share my screen, by the way. So for everyone who wants you guys to machines.com with google.com and I want you to make your own projects. Okay. So right here. So my projects just you mag post. You post the kumapakitas in the oma complex uh right. <laughs> so you can do image on all your projects. Now the project now I want you guys to share your feedback. On or your experience on how to use it and share your projects online. Prince Lin na tayo share niyo yung output ng gawa niyo. I want you to get your most the, the objects from your right hand onto your left hand. So for example, ako, on my right hand, bot in ng UFC. <laughs> so the technique yung bot in ng UFC. On my left hand, a soldering pace. Very random. I don't know why. Now, <laughs> now you get two objects, detect them together, and try to edit, that, edit the code. Now, the code that I want you guys to edit is this one. So, I uploaded the code for yeah. So, for code sum, for the image recognition right here. So, the input for the Arduino is 2 and 3. You can, if you have an Arduino, it's okay if you can integrate with it. If you don't have them, it's okay. No one, you just share your experience with each of the machines. So I want you to change this to do whatever item you want. Vader or Mario, I did it before. Now, 
The reason why it's Vader and Mario, the code for the sound or songs, if you check the code on the Google Drive, is in the Imperial March for Imperial March and Mario's song. So if we we need to have also a passive passive for this. May points back light kapag nagawa nila itong activity. Oh, my teacher, wala naman. Wala po tayo pa pride. <laughs> ah, ganun ba? Okay, basta. Bragging rights. Sabi mo sa prop mo, kala mo sa di mo kaya. Di ko kaya. Yes, yeah, sir. And experience din po, sir. Oo, oh, oo. Oh, oo oh, naman. So, so, for this one, the input is 2. That is for... Uh, that 3, that's for Mario, which is 50. And the input for Vader, that is 2. I want you guys to in, to make this sound turn on using Teachable Machines if you can. The codes are already uploaded right about here. All right. I'll share it with you. Not here. So close open is the sample code that we have, the link code that we have, and image of text is a sample for image. The sound that we had did earlier for the LED, the one here. I'll let you know. So it's, it's here. So, oh yeah, I haven't shared the P5. P5. Right, I'm just currently uploading the P5.js the JS platform for this para magamit siya. So again, so I want you guys to share your activities, share your experience uh, later about Arduino, and I hope you guys enjoyed the activities that I gave. So I like enjoy it. So again, um, I'll be leaving you guys with this uh, video. It's, um, a video earlier. I hope it's not done. It's not done anyway. Oh no! Oh no! Anyway, that's it. Thank you, guys. Akoy, I'm on the end now. Okay, sir. So. This is like the video clip, no? I'm just gonna give the links here. Ganda siya video. Ayaw po sir, siguro po ay na lang din po yung hint po namin. Before po, before we say goodbye, po sir, any. Uh, last messages po para sa ating participants. Uh, making projects like this is not hard. Kaya ang kaya niyo gawin. Um, like I said, I told you, um, moving forward, closer and closer. And I think, in the future, hindi na magiging mahihap gawin to. Right. And I hope you share your, your activities later on with, I do the um, community, right? 